the ground goes won't, won't, won't. I've seen people get killed. Terrified of it. If, if anybody has any questions or feels uncomfortable doing anything, just say, hey, I'm not really comfortable doing this. My name is Troll. I'm a rope access worker. I travel around an awful lot. So when you're climbing over, this is what happens. That way, if anything happens, that's going to catch me. Um, I've always been drawn to construction working on things that, that, that had the perception of risk involved. Most of the jobs I've worked most of my life, you could die from. Watch those sharp edges on those bearings. I tell you what, this is Troll World down here. That's Mike World up there, okay? Unfortunately, I'm a very intense individual. I don't have a problem being politically incorrect and brutally honest. Don't ask me a question if you don't really want to hear a truthful answer. The scariest thing in the world to me would be to live in the suburbs, commute an hour and 45 minutes one way, to a job I didn't like. That scares me to death. Structures are living, breathing things. The day you build them, they start to deteriorate. We're looking for section loss on the stringers, section loss on these floor beams. We're looking at all the rivets, make sure everything's looking good. Mike Yonoskevich, I'm a senior engineer with Majeski and Masters. I do uh, condition inspection, which is looking at uh, bridges. Some people get upset when a bridge shudders or they hear it move. Well, if it, when it stops moving, that's when you get problems. <laughs> Just remember, rule one, don't fall. Yep. Rule two, refer to rule one. And if I have to come out and rescue you, I'm going to remind you of rule one several times. Ground drops way faster. We have ground and water. You get over 150 feet and water might as well be concrete. Construction work is very, very dangerous. I got no tack welds in that one. We have a saying, complacency kills. Some people like being up high, and some people don't like being up high. If you don't like it, don't do this work. I am the only member of this group that currently lives in my car. Here's my bedroom. We've got the memory foam mattress, memory foam pillows, the kitchen, the bathroom, um, guitar, being from the climbing community, and I've been climbing for 14 years maybe. So I've been climbing for a long time, and a lot of climbers live in their cars, usually not three years. If you go to the, to the gym in the morning, you see people that are brushing their teeth, do their whole morning routine, shower and everything, and then put on their suit and go off to work. So I was like, wait a minute, an adventure. I just set up the whole thing and moved into my car. I have certifications from uh, massage therapy, um, I have four or five computer certifications, the rope access certification, CPR. For fun, it's street luging, snowboarding, running, biking, swimming, climbing, uh, jumping off of things. I don't sleep because I don't want to miss anything.
My name is Phil Carrington. I'm 37 and I am a commercial climber and a commercial diver. I joined the Marines when I was 17. Got to climb, dive, shoot, blow up things. The last time I surfed was about four years ago. I've got an outdoor spirit. I've never done a nine to five job in my life. So getting into climbing was just a way of keeping the adrenaline pumping. The view, the freedom of just swinging around. I've got to think a little bit more when I do any of these challenges or any of these jobs because I've got a kid now. I have a 16 month old and I've got another on the way. Hi, my name is Clint Leinwarger. I'm from Houston, Texas. Three weeks ago, I was up there on a thousand degree pipe. It was just hot and I didn't drink enough water the night before. I, I stood up and I was just like, I don't feel right. I don't feel right. I was like, I gotta get down. I gotta get down. Eight years in the Marines and all the crap I ever did, that never happened, but sitting on a thousand degree pipe, that changes your whole mentality on things. My voice, my voice tends to carry, I, and I, I tend to be a, excuse me for saying, but a big time smart ass. <laughs> my Marine side can come out real quick, and I can get, I can get very serious and very, you know, intimidating if I need to really quick. Loop it through, over the top, then I won't go anywhere. I had slack, suit, tie, the whole nine, going into law firms, you know, trying to you know, th throw a charismatic smile and, and sell stuff for my dad's company. And I was like, I can't do this. Well, come on, old man. <laughs> so I, you know, I throw a little obstacles here and there, test some skills, make sure that my crew are on their toes. My name is Joe Angel Solis the second. I'm a supervisor for MHT Access. So when you get to that point, transfer to the other one and come on down. I'm the one that's in charge of the whole rope access site. So I, I got like the biggest responsibility to make sure everyone is going to be safe going home to their families. Uh, let's go over the safety sheet, please. If someone's in trouble, I, I'll go up and save them. So There's just, just no hesitations at all. I love my job. It's a passion. That's what it comes with when you work with ropes. And I, I couldn't see myself doing anything else than that, doing ropes. Joe's definitely a character, you know. I'm not going to sit here and dime him out or talk trash about him. We don't need to go there, but uh, we, we, we <laughs> we've, had a, we've had our issues before. We may bicker, we may argue, but that's just to show how much love we got towards each other. Right after we get off, we go straight to the bar. And we drink, we play pool, we play darts. Cheers to that. We're a rowdy bunch, and it takes a certain type of individual to be able to uh, deal with us on a daily basis. Most of the jobs I've worked most of my life, you could die from. 